San Damian Center in the Resurrection of Our Lord Parish, Bagong Silang, Laocan City, Philippines. We will show you San Damian Center and what it achieves for the people in Bagong Silang at the northern outskirts of Metro Manila. You see the map shows no street names in Bagong Silang despite this relocation area exists already for more than 40 years. Launched by the Marcuses in 1971, Bagong Silang is the biggest barangay with about 1 million inhabitants in a very confined space. Let's now go inside San Damian Center. Visitors feel welcomed by a green area and are invited to rest for a while in the shadow of the trees which were intentionally saved by the architect Dom Galicia. He also saved the old chapel, which was the original building, and extended it. Now it has become the center which is being used for different purposes as we see the persons with special needs are performing their morning gymnastics. Wow! How they enjoy to get together, to dance and play and learn together. The kitchen. Needed, of course, for many opportunities and events. Behind it is where the food supplement for our project Pastoral Care for Children is produced by about 30 volunteers every second month. We also use this food supplement in other projects, like the Cup of Milk project, where we feed 1,500 children daily in the Kalayaan Elementary School. The main beneficiaries of the San Damian Center's first floor are the persons with special needs. Here we find them in their classroom. The teachers, trained volunteers, take care of them according to their different needs and abilities. The physiotherapy room is also primarily for people with special needs. Here, they get individual treatment by a physiotherapist from Fatima University and by our trained volunteers. Once a week, about a dozen college students hold their practical training in our facility. The left part of the second room has a wonderful open room surrounded by trees. Our scholars like to have their tutorials here. And now here is the third floor. One big open space. It's a venue for different events of the parish. The scholars use this space a lot. At the moment, we have 235 scholars, 122 in elementary, 75 in high school, and 38 in college. On Saturdays, the high school students teach the elementary students, and on Sundays, the college students teach the high school students. In an area like Bagong Silang, where joblessness and odd jobs prevail, only education breaks the vicious poverty cycle. That's why an attractive library will awake and foster the curiosity and the desire of children to make something out of their lives. Named as the Hero of Humanity, one who saw the face of Christ and the scarred faces of the lepers and became the leper himself, Damien of Molokai died after 16 years with his beloved lepers on April 15, 1889. His work continues at the San Damian Center in the Resurrection of Our Lord Parish, Bagong Silang, Caloocan City, Philippines. <laughs>